Let's go to First Samuel chapter 15, verse, starting from verses 21. The Bible said, The troops took sheep and cattle from the plunder, the best of the things devoted to destruction, in order to sacrifice them to the Lord your God. At what? Gilgal. This was Saul talking to who? Samuel. And the Bible says, verse 22, He said, But Samuel declared, Does the Lord delight in burnt offering and sacrifices as much as in obedience to his voice? Behold, obedience Obedience is better than sacrifice, and attentiveness is better than the fat of what rams. Look at it. The removal of Saul from the throne did not begin from this conversation. The removal of Saul from the throne was something that was not revealed to even Samuel. Samuel did not even know that one time is going to come whereby he's going to be the one to remove Saul from the throne. If you think that Saul was removed from the throne by God, is a lie. God rejected Saul because Saul has sinned. But God has not removed Saul from the throne. Meaning, Saul would have come back and asked God for forgiveness. He's all loving. And God would have forgiven Saul. Restore him back as the spiritual king of the community. But look at what happened. The arrogance of Saul was what made him help the, the cloth of Samuel and toy it. I tell you guys, be careful with spiritual people. Out of that anger and disgrace that Saul, by mistake, not on purpose, tore the cloth of Samuel and Samuel turned to him and said, for this reason, the king, the throne of Israel has been torn away from you. God rejected Saul for disobedience. There is room for forgiveness. But because Saul, out of mistake, tore the cloth of Samuel and then part of Samuel's body opened, which is equal to disgrace, then Samuel, out of anger, said, for this reason, the throne is torn from you. And let me tell you something. If you think God, 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 there are people that gets angry and God fold your hand, do anything when you want, when you want to. Because they have a covenant with God. They have a relationship with God. They follow God's instruction. They answer the call to, to be a beacon of light to lost soul. If you touch them and they tell you it is finished, even God cannot save you. Because then God have left you in their mercy. Be careful. Whether a pastor, whether a babalawu, whether an imam, let us that are spiritual people, let us that are the babalawu, let us that are the pastors, let us that are called, that have answered the God, genuine ones, we can insult ourselves. No, Wahala. You are not a pastor. You are not an imam. You are not a babalawu. Because you think you know how to use mobile phone, you cannot start insulting people anywhere. Half of your life, where you did.